about how we can add personal default values in ME51N while creating a purchase acquisition. So here if you see SAP by standard gives all these default values which you can populate. Okay, so there are stuffs on the on the item styles and all those things. So what you can do is generally always the requisition or field is generally populated. So here I'll just put the deep so any anything I put is will be having this and then I'll put a tracking number probably the tracking number is something and then you can put suppose the material group and here you can put the purchasing group and you can put the supplier plant so every time you create the you create the plant or you keep create the you create the purchase acquisition it's more or less 90 percent of the time the value is the same so here suppose for the plant it's suppose i'll just pick a plant okay so what i'll do is just do 2009 and the material group i'll just pick one here okay so the material group is electric supply storage location i'll pick something okay and the most of the times i pick the account assignment as this asset for cost center okay and the supplying plant also i pick suppose something related to 3002 this is generally settings that i always follow okay while creating a pdec so imagine when i used to create a pdec without all these values and the value i had to enter so now if i click save okay you see all these values gets automatic populated so imagine every planner who creates a purchase position generally so what they they can be doing is probably uh, they can default these values so once you default the the chances of making mistakes is much less okay because it's automatic and you don't have to you don't have to find out oh what should be the plant and all those things when things there is there is chaos when you every time you have to enter the same repetitive information you know and it's boring and it's, it's time consuming you know so those things you don't have to do you can just put your default value here and you can do see if you click on default values you can select more fields and all those things uh, so this is these are very useful stuff that you can use so this this shows anything that is uh, related with defaulting the personal settings now here you might see sometimes you see there is the plant and the storage location it's not showing the num the number actual number so if you want to see the actual number you can just click on display key and save it and here use once you do that suppose you click create now and here now you see the plant and the storage location shows up now if you don't want to see that you want to see the description you just click on display okay and you click save and now if i click on create okay and now you see it's back so this is very useful and these are some weapons that sp has given by standard but this tutorial is helping is educating you how to use this weapon and also the knowledge that there's a weapon available like this okay so that's it for this tutorial happy learning and please subscribe to my channel uh, to know about sap tips and tricks and s4hana tips and tricks